Hey guys, my name is Megan. Welcome back to my vlog. This morning, I'll be making crepes for breakfast. Before I start, I'll walk you through some of the ingredients. Here are all the things I'm going to use. There's three cups of flour, three eggs, a pinch of salt, some milk, some water, and some sugar. The thing I like about this recipe is that there's lots of nutrients in this and milk is very healthy. So are eggs because they have a lot of protein in it. When I make the crepes, I'll be serving them with some fruits by the side because fruits are very healthy. As you could see in the bowl, I already put some milk and egg. Now for salt and sugar. For this recipe, you could be serving it with anything, as I already said, and you could mix, you have to mix very well, and make sure you add a bit more water and milk if it's too thick, because for crepes, they would turn out really good if it's thin. As you can see, I'm mixing, and I will be adding some more water and some more milk if needed on the way. As you can see, this batter is way too thick. If you were making pancakes, then this would be the perfect batter, but since these are crepes, they have to be nice and thin, so I'll go ahead and add some more water and some more milk. First, you could add a little bit and continue mixing, and then you could add some more as you go on. And you have to make sure it's nice and thin. I'm going to add in some of my milk. And you could also serve crepes with bacon, sausages. You could make smoothie beside. You could add as much fruits as you want. So I've been mixing up these crepes for a while. And they're really nice. As I said, crepes are more thin than pancakes, and they're really nice when they're thin. Not too thick, but just right. And they look amazing. I know when they're ready when I start seeing some bubbles forming in them, because I know that it's nice and thin. Now I'm going to move this to the frying pan. As you can see, I'm at the frying pan, and... I got my frying pan preheated for about a minute now, and now I'm going to start making the crepes. Before I start, I'll have to put some oil. Even though this is a non-stick pan, it's still good to put oil. Then I'm going to make it go all around using this. And I really like my crepes to be big, because when they're big, um, it's a lot and it's really good. Turns out really nicely. Now I'm gonna take a big scoop of this and put in here. I'll take another one and put in the middle and then I'm gonna move it all around. When I move it all around like this, it'll make the crepe to be thin. If I kept it in one spot, and if I just add a bit too much, then it wouldn't have been that good. You don't need to worry if it doesn't turn out to be a good shape or not, because it's still really good and it'll taste very nice. I'm going to increase the fire a bit, and then I'm going to let it sit on one side to cook, then I'm going to come back and flip it. It's been frying under for a while. Now I just check to see if it's ready. It looks nice and a golden brown color, and I'm going to flip it. You have to be very careful when you flip it. Make sure you get it all under, then flip. It's okay if it turns out a bit dark. All that matters is that it tastes good. 
and I just flipped this and it looks really nice. It's amazing and it's, it's super thin and I like it. So this is a finished result of the crepes. They look amazing, super crispy. We're going to have them with sausages and a bunch of fruits. They're very healthy too. And they look so nice. I really like how they're all nice and rolled up. All the golden brown colors. They're really amazing. They look scrumptious, yummy, and delicious. I can't wait to have a bite. Now I'm going to start by putting the sausages into the pot. Just like that. For the sausages to come out well, I would have to mix them a lot first until they turn out to be a nice brown color. My family really likes Johnsonville sausages. They go raw, they go really well with crepes and pancakes. You could even have them with scrambled eggs. If they're really nice. to be stirring them a lot so they would get ready. I'm going to increase the fire a bit. These sausages are almost done. I'll just have to cook them for a little more. They don't take long at all. And we started with the pancakes. We put the pancakes and all the fruits on the plate. So I'll show you that. These sausages are ready and now I'm going to put them in the bowl. I'm going to remove them really carefully, just like this. They look nice. You can see that nice brown color. Here it is, nice and very, very healthy. You could see some oranges bananas and the sausage it looks amazing